Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. y is a function of x, and we're going to solve dy over dx equals x squared plus y squared divided by xy. Now, because of the way the equation is given, in other words, it's homogeneous, we can go ahead and use substitution here. And we can replace y with something like ux. All right. Let's see what happens after this replacement. This is going to give us, first of all, dy over dx, which is y prime. Low. So let's go ahead and differentiate both, differentiate both sides. By the way, notice that since y is a function of x, u is also a function of x in this case. OK, great. Now let's go ahead and differentiate both sides using the product rule, the derivative of u multiplied by x plus the derivative of x, which is 1, multiplied by u. And I can basically write it as x times u prime plus u. That is equivalent to y prime, which is the same thing as dy over dx. Now let's go ahead and see what happens on the right-hand side when we do the replacement. So left-hand side, I have x u prime plus u. And on the right-hand side, I have this expression, this ratio. x squared is just going to stay as is, and I'm going to replace y with ux. Therefore, when I square both sides, it's going to become u squared x squared. And the same thing at the bottom, I'm going to multiply x by y, which is ux. So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. x u prime plus u is equal to... Now, we can basically factor out x squared. That gives us 1 plus u squared. And at the bottom, we get something like u times x squared. Now, at this point, we can just go ahead and simplify this. Since x does not equal 0, we already talked about that at the very beginning. x and y will not be 0. We get the following expression. And, you know, since x and y are not going to be 0, u is not going to be 0 either because we assume that y is equal to ux. If u is 0, then y has to be 0, but that's not possible. So u is not going to be 0 either. Therefore, we can just, you know, uh, separate um, this into two fractions and write it as x u prime plus u equals 1 over u plus u squared divided by u is equal to u in this case, since u does not equal 0. Awesome. Now, this is pretty nice because uh, we can get rid of the u here. We can subtract u from both sides. And we get a simpler equation. Now, since u is a function of x, let's go ahead and write it as du over dx. And on the right-hand side, we have 1 over u. Okay. Now, remember, our goal is to solve for y as a function of x, but since uh, u is the variable that we use after substitution, uh, let's go ahead and try to solve for u first. So let's go ahead and separate the variables. This is a separable differential equation, which you can write as follows. So we can kind of bring uh, multiply both sides by u. That's going to give us u du, and you know, multiply by dx, divide by x. That's going to give you dx over x. Great. So this is separable and fairly easy to solve. One of the first things you learn when you take a class on differential equations. Great. So now, since we have a separable equation, we can just go ahead and integrate both sides with respect to x. Okay, great. So now we can go ahead and differentiate like this and like that. u du is basically like same thing as x dx, which is x squared y by 2 plus c. But in this case, I have u, but that's okay because we're integrating with respect to u on the left-hand side and with respect to x on the right-hand side. Now, since we have to use a constant, this is an indefinite integral, uh, I would like to use a constant on one side only because the difference of two constants is also just another constant, so we don't really have to use constants all over the place, right? Okay, great. So I can basically write this as u squared over 2, which is the power rule, by the way. That's one of the first things, again, you learn if you're doing integrals like... I should probably stick with the same variable. So if you're integrating u du, what you do is you look at what you do matters. Uh, you look at the coefficient, uh, the what's that called? Word, exponent. Okay. You look at the exponent, and if it's not, hopefully it's not negative 1, uh, you increase it by 1, and then whatever number you get, you divide by that. Simple, right? I mean, fairly easy power rule. It's basically what you learn for differentiation, you reverse it, right? Okay, great. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to integrate dx over x. Now, this is where we have x to the power of negative 1, right? So if you try to use the power rule, you're going to run into a problem here. You're going to get something like x to the power of 0 divided by 0. Uh-oh, 
that's not good. So we need a separate rule. If you think about what does integration mean, right? So you're kind of looking for a function whose derivative is 1 over x. So how do I integrate 1 over x, right? So the derivative of which function is 1 over x? If you think about the, the differentiation rules, uh, you'll hopefully remember that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, right? So this should be ln x, but we have to make sure that uh, x is positive because ln is only defined in real numbers, uh, only defined uh, for real values, or uh, I should say positive values, positive real values, are great. So we're going to write this as ln absolute value of x plus c. Great. So that gives us ln absolute value of x plus c on the right-hand side. Great. So we kind of got a nice equation for, uh, almost for you. Uh, well, this is for you, right? But anyways, uh, I'm going to try to get the u by itself. But let's go ahead and get rid of the 2 first. So multiply both sides by 2. And when you do, you're going to notice that my constant changed a little bit. Actually, when you double a constant, it's still a constant. It doesn't matter, right? You can't make it a variable unless you attach some x to it. So this is still a constant. So why not call that something else like k maybe, right? Or you can call it c1, c2 because a lot of times mathematicians run out of letters. That's why they use, start using subscripts. Because if you use subscripts, you basically just increase the... Um, what's that called? Constant space, right? You can use uh, C1 through C20. Why did I say 20, right? It's just 26 letters in the alphabet. But anyways, you can use C1 uh, through C1 million. That's going to give you a million variables. So that's the power of using a subscript. But since we're only dealing with a couple constants here, I'm just going to use K for constant, right? So K is for constant. Great. Okay, cool. So now we have this equation, but I want to get u by itself. So what should I do? Well, let's go ahead and square root both sides. How about that? But when you square root both sides, we get into something called absolute value. So um, absolutely, that's a problem. So let's go ahead and eliminate that problem by using a plus minus sign. And I know some folks don't like the way I write the plus minus sign, but that is how I write the plus minus sign. Maybe that's the minus plus sign. Who knows, right? But anyway, if you take the square root of both sides, you get something like the following. Okay, great. But this is you, right? This is you. I don't want you. Well, it's not that I don't want you guys, but it's like the, I don't like the, want the variable you. Uh, so I want the y. And you know why? Uh, because that's the variable we're solving for. So, But y is equal to ux. What is that supposed to mean? y is equal to ux, which means that u is equal to y over x. Again, y and x cannot be zero. Remember that. So let's replace u with y over x. Don't worry, we're not replacing u. We're just replacing the variable u. So, happy birthday to someone, to you. Okay. Now, we got this and we can... Uh, no, okay, what am I talking about? We can multiply both sides by x and we're going to get the following. And guess what? This gives us the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.